Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this is Zen Magic by Ian Moran uh, from Big Blind Media. So before we carry on, please like and subscribe. Uh, makes all the difference. Say it every time. Please do share it. When it, people share it, it just bumps up the views, and more views means more reviews. It literally does. You know, I'm spending a lot of time doing this now. Um, not complaining because I love it, but it's not the biggest money spinner in the world and you can't give your bank your magic tricks at the end and say, can I pay my mortgage with these? So it, that would be great, but you can't. So um, so please like, subscribe, share and go uh, check out cardmagiccourse.com. A great way to learn card magic. So many videos on there now, all taught by me and I put a lot of time into it. Um, and it's a great way to support the channel as well. So uh, support the channel, support your magic, and become the magician you want to be. Uh, so let's get on with the review. So when I got this, I was really, I was quite excited because I, one of my first, well, not first, one of my early DVDs that I got was the Cull Father, and I want to learn the Spread Cull. And the Spread Cull is now my favourite move. I love it. You can get it free on Car Magic Course. Um, it's just so versatile. And, and I, the, I first learned it from the Cull Father and really enjoyed that DVD. And then I sort of adapted it and, and did different versions. But I, and since then I've met, and well, I know uh, Ian. Ian is, oh, in, in, in some ways, one of my favorite magicians, one of my favorite people in, from the magic world because he's, he, he's got so little ego. And I've, I've always wanted to see him work and see his stuff, and I never have, because it's weird, because I've done Man U with him, Man United, uh, Old Trafford, I've done gigs with him, but I've never seen, because like, you, you very rarely see each other work, do you, when, you, when you're doing your thing. Uh, so I was intrigued about this. It's first video in like 13 years or something. Might, I might have got that number wrong, but since the Cold Father, I think. And I was really, so when I got it, I was like, yeah, I'm really excited about seeing it, but God, God, what if I don't like it? Because I really like Ian. And, uh, I love it, his nature and his approach to magic and his knowledge, which we'll go into in a minute. Uh, but it, it says on here a collection of 10 killer close-up miracles, magic with cards and coins, right? It says that on every DVD, doesn't it, pretty much? This kind of lives up to it because there's some belters on here. And I'm not, like, I'm not, it, I've got sent this by Big Blind Media. I didn't get it sent by Ian. So, I, and I don't, and Ian's such a nice guy that I wouldn't, if I didn't like a DVD, he'd be cool with it. Um, the first thing to say is I really like learning from people who really know their stuff. I Now, Ian knows his stuff. He's like an encyclopedia. If you know anything, he'll just tell you. Now, the, the, with that, sometimes you get a lack of performance skill, don't you? We all know sometimes that you're either good at one thing or the other. You're either the really geeky stuff and really skilled stuff and not that good at performing. Or And, and because of his encyclopedia, encyclopedic knowledge, I, I worried that this was going to be full of over-technical over kind of stuff that you can't lose anywhere, use anywhere, which I would have been really into uh, for the joy of it. Um, but I would have had to, had to say that, which I didn't really want to say. But it's good because these are he's got his feet firmly in both places here. The, the, the sort of the cleverness of the routines and the skill of them and the knowledge behind them, plus making them really commercial. So the first thing to say is, and you can all, is, is it's good, right? That's, a, that's the first thing to say. Um, but you always, I always like it when someone is so knowledgeable, but knowledgeable, but they only share their knowledge when you ask. And that really sums up some magicians that I love and, and, and Ian as well. It's not, he doesn't, you know, some people you meet up with them, don't you, for a cup of tea and they just throw stuff at you. And it's basically them saying, look how clever I am. Look how much I know. Look at this trick. Look at this trick. In this situation, I do this. And honestly, I've been pinned against walls before for hours. People go, and then I do this and then I do that. And then when they take a card, I'm like, show me, great, but don't, it's hard, really hard work. So Ian doesn't do that. So he, he, if you ask him something, he'll give you the knowledge. And, and that's why, it, it's this sort of the, the fact it's called Zen magic is quite interesting because I saw that and just thought Big Blind Media would kind of go on that'll do you know because <laughs> yeah what's it got to do with Zen but it is it's got an authenticity to it um, that Zen is definitely a kind of a, a lack of desperation and the magic's got that to it as well it's it's great so the knowledge is there that's what you've got to know. The crediting is there, which is brilliant because if you learn something, you can then go, okay, I can then go back to the source material or I can expand on this. 
what Ian does is, so basically the credits go across the bottom. He also talks about the credits, where this is from. But what he also does, which I really like at the end of every trick, he says, well, if you don't want to do this, you could do this, or you could do this. So there's always these possibilities. He gives you a great routine, which you can straight off go out and do. He then will talk about the possibilities of that, so you can simplify it. Um, or make it more, or, or use, or sort of uh, switch in moves or different ideas, which I really, really like. So it isn't just, this is it, go and do it, which I probably will, to be honest, because they're all so strong. Um, I'm not going to go through all the effects. My favourite effect is probably, what, there's one he did, and I didn't know it was, I didn't even know he was doing a DVD. I went round my friend Matt's house, I think it was in the summer, or was it Christmas? Oh, it, God, I don't know, a few months ago. And at the end, we were all going to do a trick, and I had to go early, but I got to see Ian's trick. It's the only one I got to see. And Ian performed this trick, and I thought, God, I really like that. I've got to follow up on that and ask him where he learned it, what it was. And, and watching this DVD, it popped up, and I saw it, and I went, oh, brilliant. I can now learn it. It's called, and I've written it, because I always get the... Thanks to Lance, uh, John, and Dave. It's a um, Carlisle card-to-pocket homing card mixed up with a Dave Williamson... Um, 52, 51 cards to pocket, and this kind of lovely Elmsley routine in it. I, I, that's not doing it justice. That makes it sound like a mash of everything, doesn't it? But what the point of it is, it's this sort of phased routine, which you can tell is just going to really kill commercially. And I could tell when I saw him perform it when we were at Matt's house that it was. I thought, yeah, it's really good, and the ending really got me. I got, you know, I got fooled by the fifty-one cards to pocket because I can always tell when that's happening usually as a magician, but I didn't see it. And it's, he's got a really good answer to that problem I've always had, and it was so nice to hear him say that the way Dave Williamson takes those cards to the pocket. I'm sorry if you don't know what I'm talking about, but just Google fifty-one cards to pocket and watch the video of Dave Williamson doing it. I never get away with, and I thought everybody else did. Well, I do get away with it sometimes, but it always feels a bit icky. And Ian says, yeah, same thing. And it was so nice to hear. And he's got this way of doing it that's just beautiful. So following on from that, I will say on every one of these routines, they are, even if you're not going to do the routines, there are brilliant lessons in misdirection and scripting. And I don't mean scripting, as some people say, was a big long story with a script. There's none of that. It's just, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, if that's your style and you get away with it, but I can't. But scripting as when he says something or does something with his hands and, and the direction of it usually is there for a reason. There's no fluff in these routines. It's kind of like, you know, I say this at this point because of this, I go and get this pen here because of this. And that's the stuff you'll learn and take on to other routines. So the learning is really wide here and I can't stress how important that is. And you do get that in the, the better quality DVDs. But some DVDs, you don't you don't get that that spark that makes you kind of, that, that gives you the, the creativity to take this learning into other routines. And I've talked about this, this an awful lot. It's something I'm very passionate about. And I'm really glad that this, this happened on this DVD. The other two highlights for me, and by the way, I thought that all this stuff was great. Um, but the, the other two highlights that I thought I will take these out and, and try them out was this prime importance, uh, I think that's what it's called, this routine where he, this blank card routine. And I've, I think it was Andy Nyman, I've said this before, that we forget how magical blank cards are. And it's a really good, like, you're printing the cards, but it, it looks so magical, even the paintbrush change. So that's really, really commercial. I think you will take that. And it's the sort of thing that could have been marketed. You know, a few years ago, you know when you bought marketed tricks that didn't necessarily have gaff, even though blank cards are gaff, but you know what I mean? No kind of big gimmick. And you'd buy them in a, in a cell phone. It's the sort of thing that, that, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you would have bought for a tenner and been, and been happy with. And then there's this pickpocketing thing, which is called picking pockets, I think, which he talks about, he puts... Uh, four of a kind, all the aces in his pockets, and it says, I'm going to pick my own pockets and change these jacks for these aces, or vice versa. And one at a time, they change. And again, very clean, very commercial. It's phase, so you kind of get this, this thing. It's a routine that you could perform and could give you some stage time um, in, in close up, of course. Uh, and I really, really love that. So, and it's got a couple of coin routines on, which we'll talk about in a minute. But all I'll say is it's full of good stuff. Ian is very good at presenting magic in a non-pretentious, authentic way that is sometimes very funny and just sometimes very nice. And that is why he's good to watch. And I would much rather watch someone for that long doing magic that is like that rather than someone who's trying to be really clever, trying to be funny, throwing stuff at you. Like I've said before, it's quite exhausting and it's very difficult to learn from. And you will learn from this DVD. Ian is a very good teacher. and I know he does teach privately as well. And you can tell he kind of knows how to take you through it and knows how to teach. So there's none of that frustrating. Well, I mean, there's a couple of bits where I had to go back, 
but that's a normal part of the process as well but you know it's again it sounds like I'm, I'm really over the top but i watch a lot of magic dvds and i just lose the will to live so often so when i find one that isn't i am going to get excited about it because i'm going to re-watch it i'm re-watching a magic dvd this happens very rarely these days um and, fact, and big blind media you know good good on you they've they've in a lot of their earlier dvds i did sometimes have a problem with like having models and all this kind of stuff it, it just kind of grated a little bit it looked a little bit false to me um still a lot of great magic i mean owen knows his, his stuff and all good magic learning but but there's a, there's more again tying in with this then there's more seems to be more of an authenticity and they seem to be maturing I'm not putting that stuff down at all but just just for me it was it was nice as well and the sets look great and all those little details are, are being uh, are being thought about um it's not perfect all right it's, no magic dvd is perfect i suppose the one thing i was slightly frustrated at with this lovely coin the two coin routines both of which are really really nice um now ian i do think i think is mainly a card guy but we all love our coins as well um, and there was routine, I went, great, I'll learn that, and then realised you needed a certain coin that was quite expensive to do it, which I'm not prepared to buy for that routine. Um, and the other coin routine also use a gaff, uses a gaff, but it may be one that more people have. But just know that the two coin routines require gaffs. But saying that, there is still stuff to learn on there. If you want to adapt it for a normal, because there's still moves, there's switch, it, all that kind of stuff, that, that if, because he's got an eye on the commercial um, the, the commercial angle of these routines, you will still learn. There's a brilliant thing with a sponge, a really nice way to, to clean it with a sponge, which is just so simple and so brilliant. So um, uh, Ian's favorite sponge, <laughs> I think they call it. Uh, so there you go, you might tell I like it. Just, if you're gonna buy a DVD, get that. You know, it's on download as well. Um, buy it, because it's just, if you buy that and you go through that and you think, oh, I haven't learned anything, then you don't have to buy any DVDs. You don't, don't bother, because it's, to me, I've been, you know, I've got the card card, it's got a lot of stuff on it, and I learned stuff off there that made me think about my routining and made me go, I'm going to take that and do that and have lots of fun with it. So there you go, um, Zen Magic, Ian Moran, by Big Blind Media, a really enjoyable DVD, spot on, thanks a lot, uh, and please like and subscribe, please check out Card Magic Course. Please look down there at the links and all the, I'll put it all down there where you can get it. I'm not sure how much it is yet, but it's all, all going to be down there. Uh, please do check out Car Magic Course. People are loving it. That would be lovely. I know I've just said it. I'm going to say it again because I'm spending lots of my time on this channel and not earning any money. So uh, that would be great. Great way to support the channel. A uh, great way to keep me reviewing products and a great way to learn magic. It's not just about supporting the channel. It's about you becoming the magician you want to be. Thanks very much. Have a good one. Cheers.